Hey, it's Anon Watts Orsi, and this video will be about mouse keys. Recently, there's been a lot of discussion about them. So are they allowed? Are they banable? And to be honest, it's really a gray zone. So it would be great if a Jagex mod could actually draw the line for once and for all between what's legal and what's illegal. So there's been a lot of random statesmen all over the forums by random foreign mods and Jagex mods, but nothing official. So one of the most commonly known rules about mouse keys is that one input must equal to one output. So input, for example, is pressing a key, uh, moving the mouse or clicking. So it's basically what you're doing in real life. This is input and the output is what the computer does. For example, write a letter, move the mouse or click. So according to this rule, so to this definition, actually doing the action of pressing A on the keyboard is against the rules. So right now I'm breaking the rules because I'm only doing one action, which is pressing the key A and it's generating multiple outputs because I'm writing multiple letter A on the screen. So basically I'm officially a cheater according to this rule and every player is a cheater according to this rule. <laughs> so yeah. One of the main questions I want to answer before getting started with the topic is what are mouse keys exactly? So long story short, it's changing the output of an input. It's also called remapping. So normally when you press one, it writes one. It's the normal behavior, but by using mouse keys, you can change its behavior. So for example, by pressing one, it will actually move the mouse 50 pixel to the left, for example. So every single Windows already come built in with mouse keys so you don't need to download anything it's already on your computer so it's not really a third party well in a way it's a third party but everything pretty much the browser you're using is also a third party so what uh, windows offer is really basic mouse keys so all you can pretty much do is move around and click and the movement are always the same jumps. For example, every time you press a key, it moves by 50 pixels. So you cannot move 40 pixels, it's only 50 pixels. So it's what I call a constant jump range. And obviously there are other software that you can download. For example, the most popular ones are auto out keys and auto it. And what they do is that they allow more custom features. So you can jump different range and you can also do, do pretty complex stuff um, that I will talk about soon. In my opinion, there are five different places where we could draw the line. The first one and the most strict one is that no mouse keys are allowed. It doesn't matter if it comes with Windows or another third party um, software, they are simply not allowed. Um, the second place where we could draw the line is that only the mouse keys that come with your operating system, for example, Windows are allowed. So what the Windows mouse keys are, for example, right there is moving the mouse by a constant jump range. For example, right now I'm jumping 50 pixel every time I press a key on the, the number pad. If I want to move 40 pixel, I cannot. It's not possible with the Windows mouse key. So this is the second place where we could draw the line. After that, um, third place is that auto out keys is allowed except that uh, the jump range must be constant. So it would pretty much be exactly like a Windows, except that instead of going to the control panel to set your mouse keys, you would simply write a script down. So right there, I got an example of a very basic auto out key code. Um, so right there, this is an example of remapping. So by pressing one, I'm clicking. And this is another example, I'm pressing two and I will move the mouse by 50 pixel down and relative to where I am. So this is possible with the Windows mouse keys though. So this would be allowed. Then after that, there's this one right there, which um, is what I call custom range. So by pressing three, I will move the mouse 10 pixel to the right and 60 pixel down. So this is not possible with the Windows mouse keys, only with auto odd key or auto it or something else. And this is 
the fourth place where we could draw the line. And then after that, there's the complex script with auto odd keys. So keep in mind that what I'm talking about is still one input for one output. So something like this, for sure, it's not legal. I don't think it should be legal. Um, and it, it is obviously not. Um, so moving the mouse, waiting a little, and then clicking. So by only doing one input, you do two outputs. So this is bannable for sure. But what I'm talking about with complex script is, for example, this. So by pressing four, it will get the position of my mouse. It will test um, what color is below my mouse. And if it's the color blue, then it will click. If it's not the color blue, then it will search on the screen and looking for the color blue, and it will move my mouse over the color blue. So as you can see, it's still one input for one output. I press four, it either clicks or I press four and it moves. So still one input for one output. So right there, I got a little example. I activated mouse keys. Um, if I press two, I move down. If you remember correctly, if I press three, I will move down a little bit to the, the right. So this is not possible with the move, the, the Windows mouse keys. After that, um, there's the complex script. So right now I'm going to press four. And as you can see, I will move over the dragon. And if I press four again, it will click. You cannot really see it right now, but as you can see, you will be able to see what's really going on on the browser very soon. In my opinion, in order to draw the line at the right place, it's important to know what Jagex can actually know about the player when we are playing. So is there a way for Jagex to know we are using mouse keys in the first place or if we are using auto odd keys, for example? So what I did there is a pretty basic web page which has exactly the same input and output recognition than Jagex has when you're playing in the browser. To be honest, I don't know if it's the same thing for the downloadable client because when you install something on your computer, the program can have access to a lot of stuff, but it's probably the same thing. So long story short, what my web page does is it recognizes um, mouse movement. It also recognizes the wheel, the click, the the keys. So if you press key down, if you press key up, it also recognizes that. So right there, as you can see, if I'm holding a key, it sends multiple key down, but only one key up, for example. So they know that you're holding the key down. So one thing we can already tell is that when I'm moving the mouse, the mouse is moving more than one pixel at a time. So right there, as you can see, I moved nearly 60 pixel at once, right there, 20 pixel. So if Jagex says to the player that one input is one pixel movement, that's just dumb and false. And this is exactly the same information that Jagex has. They don't have more than that. So they cannot tell if you're really moving one pixel by one pixel or if you're jumping. They cannot know it. So it would be dumb that this would be the rule. They cannot enforce this rule. Um, now let's see what happens if I activate mouse keys. So right now I have mouse keys activated. And as you can see, when I'm pressing, for example, the button four, it doesn't actually show that I'm pressing the button four. It only shows the mouse movement. So Chagging doesn't know I'm using mouse keys right now. The only way they have to tell is that I'm moving always by the same amount. That's the only way they can tell I'm using mouse keys. Um, the Windows mouse keys. I don't know if I mentioned that. So yeah, the only way you can tell is that I'm jumping always the same way. One thing that they can know is if I press the five button, I click. And as you can see, when I click, even if I hold down the five button, it's a click. So it's a mouse down and a mouse up instantly. You're sending both information at the same time. And this is not possible with a, a real key, obviously. You cannot be instant. You cannot press down the mouse button, press up at the same time. Well, while using mouse keys and pressing the five button, you can. So in a way, Jagex can tell if you're using the, the click option of the mouse keys because you're sending the, the mouse down and up at the exact same time. So now let's see if the behavior is the same if you're using auto odd key. So right now what I'm going to do is to press the button one, which stands for clicking, if you remember my script. So there it is, I press one. And as you can see, it's not the same than the mouse keys from Windows. I By pressing one, it's sent to the to Jagex, I've the mouse down left, mouse down up, mouse movement. The mouse movement always shows up when something happens with the mouse. And then 
it shows key up one. So Jagex up. Jagex knows that you have pressed one in an oddly manner because you haven't sent the key down first. So if you press a normal key that hasn't been remapped, it will show key down and then key up. This is the normal behavior. But if you're actually using the one button, it will only send the key up, not the key down. So this is an easy way for Jagex to know if you're using mouse keys. So without simply relying on the fact that you're you're moving always the same jump. They can tell you're only sending the key up section and no key down. This is probably because you're using auto hot keys. Obviously, there are other ways that you could only send the key up and not the key down, but this is quite unusual. And now let's see what happens if I move move the mouse. Um, so right there, I'm going to press the two button, and as you can see, it also send the key up too, even though with no key down, and it just moved exactly like the windows. And yeah, for the clicking, if you remember correctly, if I click five with the windows mouse keys, it doesn't show that I have clicked five. It just shows mouse down and then mouse up. So no five there. Only with the auto hot keys that it will send the key I've actually pressed um, for it to happen. And then um, the tweet will also show it, the tree two. And then for the four, for example, I'm right there, I press four it will move and then stop. So it's still, as you can see right there, it's still one input for one output. I click four, it moved and then stop. And if I press four once again, um, it will do the clicking. I press four, click, that's it. There's also the movement there, but as you can see, it's no pixel. It, it only triggers in a browser every time there's a click. Um, the function for the mouse movement actually is, is called. So that's why it's appearing there, but it, I haven't moved the mouse actually I just clicked if you click it as you can see it's also moving with a regular click it's how browser work um, so yeah I guess by pressing 4 it's only one one input as you can see right there even to behind the scene with the script it's really complex if you remember correctly so yeah I guess that's pretty much it about this video I hope you liked it and I just want to tell you that I made this video mainly so people are aware of what are mouse keys and what is auto hot keys. There's a lot of confusion. People don't really know what it is and how powerful it can be. So now you know what it can do. And hopefully a Jagex mod will see this video and draw the line for once and for all. So see ya.